Right. So the other thing I want to point out is um, we have a fair number of guests that travel with scooters, um, Ken. So obviously that's a very convenient way for guests um, that have some limitations in walking to get around the ship. And so it's also really important for uh, for them to let us know that they're traveling with a scooter and make sure that their scooter fits in their stateroom. Um, there's a fair number of guests that sometimes don't want to put the scooter in their stateroom and they want to leave it parked outside their, uh, their corridor, uh, their hallway, and that is actually a safety violation. And that's not because in the event of an emergency, um, that would cause an impediment to guests being able to, you know, obviously evacuate the ship in a, in a speedy fashion. So we do require that the scooter be able to fit in the stateroom. And our room stewards are trained to help the guests collapse the wheelchair, sorry, collapse the scooter and store it in a way that it is out of the way. So stateroom, it has to be stored in a manner that allows for safe egress out of the stateroom. Uh, and our staff is more than happy to help the guests uh, locate that, that spot in their stateroom where they can safely store their scooter. Okay. Yeah. And that, that is, um, you know, that's like I said, that's very helpful to have the, the cabin steward be able to help with that. Um, I, I, I've been on ships where I've seen them parked in the hallway and, and it causes, you know, for us, when my wife's either pushing her wheelchair or riding in her wheelchair, you know, somebody's got a scooter and they left it in the hallway. Now we've got to find another way to get where we want to go. So, yes. and, and that's just one of those courtesy things that, that everybody should, should be pay attention to. Correct. And there are instances, by the way, that we, um, when we see tr someone that's traveling with a, uh, with an oversized scooter, we make sure that they have the state room that accommodates. So an oversized scooter would have to be able to go into a fully accessible stateroom that has the wider door width. Uh, and if we see that someone is traveling with an oversized scooter and their stateroom is not a fully accessible stateroom, they will not be able to board with that scooter. Uh, we have made arrangements uh, in most of our ports to have a scooter rental company at, the act at embarkation so that someone that's traveling with an oversized scooter that doesn't fit into their stateroom would have to leave their scooter behind or rent a scooter from this company that's on site and they'll take possession of their and store that person's scooter and rent them a scooter that fits into their cabin. Obviously, if you tell us all this information in advance, it avoids that kind of disappointment um, once you get to the pier, but um, we do try to make accommodations for those instances when people forget to tell us that they're traveling with a, a big scooter. But under no circumstances can we leave those scooters in the hallway because it impedes, um, you know, the mobility of other guests that are trying to get around and our crew also that are trying to work uh, and move their housekeeping carts. Um, so um, that's that's what uh, we've had to resort to. Well, and, and, but that's, you know, the fact that you, you guys have thought through that is, is really nice because now there is an option for people that if they have an oversize, they can either leave the oversize at home and don't bring it to port, or if they if they get to port with it, they still, they're not out there cruise, they can they just have to make arrangements and having somebody that can store it for them is is so important. Um, you know, I, I that is that is amazing. 